You know, we both came from the same type of background, hardworking families, and you know, you just knew that we were, we were totally different, but we had the same goals. Showed up in a van one day, says, uh, I'm starting my own business. <laughs> I said, with what? Uh, I'm going into wholesaling. And then, uh, you know, that grew, and then about, what, a year and a half, two years later, maybe? Yeah. Less than a year. Less than, Less than, yeah. than two years. Less than two years, we were on the trucks together. And 20, 20 years later, I'm still driving crazy. And he does, yeah. <laughs> My name is Mo Aquino. I'm co-owner of Barino's Market and Vibano's Trattoria. My name is Michael Barrett. Job title goes, I do anything and everything possible to help keep the business running. The Barino's Market is a combination of my name and his name. 20 years ago, there were, the delis, you go to any deli and get a good catering, you know, get, get some good sausage and peppers, and that just wasn't the case anymore. So we decided that, you know, maybe there's a niche for us there. Making our own cheese, uh, the mozzarella, making raviolis, so doing our own sausage and fresh meats. I think we've built a, a decent name for ourselves because of the because it's fresh food and, and customer service. Staff is amazing. Their food is amazing. I love it. The food is excellent. Everything's good. <laughs> I don't remember how I found POS Nation exactly. We were just we were using a regular cash register. I think the main reason was we wanted to get into something with customer loyalty. Yeah. Right. That was one of the main reasons to get something better tracking and customer loyalty. You were accommodating in terms of getting me information, getting back to me with different things because I think because we were in the wholesale business and we worked with computers for so many years, uh, we, we knew what we wanted. Like we knew what, what we needed it to do. And then finally you said, well, Chris knows what he's talking about. I think I'm going to go with this company. I was just comfortable. I was just comfortable talking to Chris. You know, we were willing to, to move forward. Like everything's already in the system already. You don't got to like think about the price. It's already there for you. Everything was there when we got it. We opened the box and everything was ready to go. After working for it an hour or two, you basically could just fly around the system. It, it, it's very, very simple to use. Even as we get new people in up the block and everything else, you know, they come right in, oh, I've never used this before, you know, the old school mentality. And the second they look at it, it's this, 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 that. You know what? An hour later, they're using it by themselves. This yeah. is much better. This is much better, 100%. Faster. Yeah. The folks at Tech Support are always good. They, they get back to you and they resolve the problems. I always call you guys first. When the restaurant came up, you were the guys the first guys I called. But even though we were opening a different type of business, we knew that you guys would probably have the answers. This place here was probably around, what, 50 years as a, de uh, as a deli. Mm -hmm. Business-wise, having the deli up the block, we didn't want to see another deli coming down here. So to uh, eliminate the competition, we took the place over and decided to put a restaurant. Vito Fajaben, executive chef slash owner of Vabano's Trattoria. Fine Italian cuisine. I bring my family's recipes to your table. But the uh, POS system we had, uh, as far as my end of the deal is, we put all the inventory to the restaurant in there, which uh, works out great because when something comes in, let's say like a gnocchi sorrentino, it takes automatically takes what we used like if I, I use six ounces of gnocchis, it takes six ounces of gnocchis off the uh, off the inventory. Four ounces of sauce, two ounces of cream. So we put all kinds of ingredients together, and then it, it, it helps me balance my uh, my food cost. This way, on Thursdays before the weekend come, instead of me going to check what I need, I hit a button, and it tells me I only have two packages of gnocchi left. It tells me I have two cans of sauce left, and I know I need to order that. And the shopping list feature on this is better than anything else I've ever seen. It break, literally breaks down to the penny how much it costs you to put that dish out. The old school way, you grab it, you do this, you do that, you're estimating. This, I can tell you what the slice of garlic, what one slice of garlic cost to the, the millicent. When it was all pen and paper, forget about it. I would lose things because they'd be in my back pocket. Now, everything's on a computer, you push your button and it's right there for you. POS for dummies. <laughs> this will help any restaurant succeed. It really is a great system. It, it, I don't think there's one better out there. And that's all she wrote. End the story. Bon appetit. Steve, what do you need? I'm gonna get a uh, sausage and egg. Customers like a big family. Uh, boss, good people. 31.25, please. We're part of the family here, you know? You need a POS system in place for any business, rather than just have a cash register. What's your favorite thing to order? Potatoes and eggs. Potatoes and eggs and mozzarella. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs>